Hello, my name is David. If your healthcare provider has instructed you to watch this video, then you've been prescribed a medication called Muse. Muse is a drug that uses a focused, direct approach to help treat erectile dysfunction, right where the problem is occurring. For the next few minutes, I'll be walking you through a tutorial that will explain exactly how to use Muse on your own. So what is Muse? In short, Muse is a system designed to place a medicated pellet into the urinary opening using a disposable plastic applicator. The Muse applicator consists of a disc-like body and a collar that connects the body to the stem. The medicated pellet contains alprostadil, the active ingredient in Muse, and is located in the end of the stem. At the top of the body is the button. When you press this button, the medicated pellet will be released. A cover protects both the stem and the collar. To show you how to take Muse, first let's discuss what you can do to prepare yourself. If you prepare properly and follow these instructions, you'll get the best results. First, urinate immediately before use. Then shake the penis several times to remove excess urine. Some extra moisture in your penis will make it easier to insert Muse and will also help dissolve the medicated pellet. Open the foil muse pouch by tearing fully across from the notched edge. Let the applicator slide out of the package. Save the foil pouch for discarding the applicator later. Remove the protective cover from the applicator's stem by holding the body of the applicator between your thumb and forefinger. Twist the body and pull out the applicator from the cover, but don't push in or pull out the applicator button. Save the cover for discarding the applicator later. Look carefully at the applicator. It's see-through, so you should be able to see the medicated pellet at the end of the stem. Make sure that the medicated pellet is present before inserting Muse. Now that you've prepared yourself, let's move on to inserting the alprostadil pellet into your penis. First, hold the applicator in the way that's most comfortable for you. Take a moment to review the figure shown here to become familiar with the anatomy of the penis. Note the location of the urethra, the tube in the penis through which men pass urine and semen, and the glands, which is the tip of the penis. While sitting or standing, whichever is more comfortable for you, take a few seconds to gently and slowly stretch the penis upward to its full length while gently squeezing the glands. This straightens and opens the urethra. While keeping the penis stretched, Slowly insert the applicator stem into the urethra up to the collar of the applicator. If you feel any discomfort or a pulling sensation, withdraw the applicator slightly and then gently reinsert. Gently and completely push down the button at the top of the applicator until it stops. You must do this to make sure that the medicated pellet is completely released. Hold the applicator in this position for five seconds. Gently rock the applicator from side to side to separate the medicated pellet from the applicator tip. If you apply too much pressure, you may scratch the lining of the urethra and cause it to bleed. You're now ready for the final steps to finish taking Muse. First, remove the applicator while keeping the penis upright. Visually inspect the applicator to see that the medication is no longer in the applicator. Do not touch the stem. If you notice some residual medication in the end of the applicator, gently reinsert into the urethra and repeat the steps for insertion. Extending the penis to its full length, massage the penis firmly between your hands for at least 10 seconds. This will help you absorb the medication. If you feel a burning sensation, it may help to continue massaging the penis for another 30 to 60 seconds or until the discomfort stops. Remember that each applicator is good for a single administration only. Replace the cover on the applicator, place it in the opened foil pouch, fold and discard as normal household waste. After you've used Muse, it's important to sit, stand or walk for about 10 minutes while your erection develops. This will increase blood flow to the penis and improve the quality of your erection. Again, when Muse is taken the right way, it can begin to give you an erection in 5 to 10 minutes.
Your erection may last 30 to 60 minutes. Here are possible side effects to be aware of when taking Muse. The most common side effects of Muse are aching in the penis, testicles, legs, and perineum. The perineum refers to the area between the penis and rectum. Warmth or burning sensation in the urethra, redness of the penis due to increased blood flow, and minor urethral bleeding or spotting due to improper administration. The following side effects have been reported less frequently with Muse. Prolonged erection. Please note that if your erection is rigid for more than four hours, call your doctor promptly. Swelling of leg veins. Lightheadedness or dizziness. Rapid pulse. And fainting. Please note that after using Muse, you should avoid activities such as driving or hazardous tasks where injury could result if dizziness or fainting were to occur. In patients experiencing these symptoms, the symptoms have usually occurred within one hour of Muse administration. If you have a history of fainting, be sure to discuss this with your doctor before using Muse. If you get dizzy or feel faint, lie down immediately and raise your legs. If symptoms persist, Call your doctor promptly. Check with your doctor before you begin or resume taking medication to lower your blood pressure because in some patients, Muse may further lower blood pressure. Some simple steps are necessary when storing Muse. It's recommended that Muse be stored in a refrigerator. For comfortable administration, it's recommended that you allow Muse to warm to room temperature prior to inserting. Muse can be kept at room temperature less than 30 degrees centigrade or 86 degrees Fahrenheit for up to 14 days. It's very important that Muse not be exposed to temperatures above 30 degrees centigrade or 86 degrees Fahrenheit, since this will render Muse ineffective. Remember that no medicine is for everyone. Muse should not be used by men who have sickle cell anemia or trait, leukemia or tumor of the bone marrow, allergy to alprostadil, the active ingredient in Muse, or an abnormally formed penis. Men with certain heart problems should not use Muse. Check with your doctor to see if your heart is healthy enough for sex before using Muse. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any other questions about Muse, you should contact your doctor. Call the toll-free patient information line at 1-888-367-6873 or visit the Muse website at MuseRx.net. Muse is indicated for the treatment of erectile dysfunction. Studies that established benefit demonstrated improvements in success rates for sexual intercourse compared with similarly administered placebo. Muse is contraindicated in men with any of the following. Known hypersensitivity to alprostadil, abnormal penile anatomy, Muse is contraindicated in patients with urethral stricture, balanitis, inflammation or infection of the glands of the penis, severe hypospadias and curvature, and in patients with acute or chronic urethritis, sickle cell anemia or trait, thrombocythemia, polycythemia, multiple myeloma. Muse is contraindicated in patients who are prone to venous thrombosis or who have a hyperviscosity syndrome and are therefore at increased risk of priapism, that is, rigid erection lasting six or more hours. Muse should not be used in men for whom sexual activity is inadvisable. See general precautions. Muse should not be used for sexual intercourse with a pregnant woman unless the couple uses a condom barrier. Because of the potential for symptomatic hypotension and syncope, which occurred in 3% and 0.4% respectively of patients during in-clinic dosing, Muse titration should be carried out under medical supervision. During post-marketing surveillance, syncope occurring within one hour of administration has been reported. Patients should be cautioned to avoid activities such as driving or hazardous tasks where injury could result if hypotension or syncope were to occur after Muse administration. A complete medical history and physical examination should be undertaken to exclude reversible causes of erectile dysfunction prior to the initiation of Muse therapy. In addition, underlying disorders that might preclude the use of Muse, see contraindications, should be sought. 
cardiovascular effects. During in-clinic dosing, patients should be monitored for symptoms of hypotension, and the lowest effective dose of MUSE should be prescribed. Hematologic effects. Patients administering MUSE improperly may be at risk of urethral abrasion, resulting in minor bleeding or spotting. Patients on anticoagulant therapy or with bleeding disorders may be at higher risk of bleeding. Patients on anticoagulant therapy have been safely treated with MUSE. However, the risk-benefit ratio in these patients should be considered prior to prescribing MUSE. Resumption of sexual activity. Sexual intercourse is considered a vigorous physical activity, and it increases heart rate as well as cardiac work. Physicians may want to examine the cardiac fitness of patients prior to treating erectile dysfunction. Priapism and prolonged erection. In clinical trials of MUSE, priapism, that is, rigid erection lasting six hours or more, and prolonged erection, that is, rigid erection lasting four hours and less than six hours, were reported infrequently, less than 0.1% and 0.3% of patients, respectively. Nevertheless, these events are a potential risk of pharmacologic therapy and can cause penile injury. Physicians should lower the dose or consider discontinuing MUSE treatment in any patient who develops priapism or prolonged erection. Drug-drug interactions. Because there are low or undetectable, that is, less than 2 picograms per milliliter, amounts of alprostadil found in the peripheral venous circulation following MUSE administration, systemic drug-drug interactions with MUSE are unlikely. Although formal studies have not been conducted, the concomitant use of MUSE and antihypertensive medications may increase the risk of hypotension. It is therefore advised that caution be used in the administration of MUSE to individuals on antihypertensive medications. In addition, the presence of medications in the circulation that attenuate erectile function may influence the response to MUSE. Drug device interactions. Use of MUSE in patients with penile implants has not been studied. Sexual preference. There is no experience in homosexual men and no experience with other than vaginal intercourse. Most frequently reported drug-related side effects include penile pain, urethral burning, urethral bleeding, spotting, testicular pain, hypotension, dizziness.